right, welcome back to part two of building a workbench printer, 3D printer stand, something or another, right? Of extruded aluminum. That's, I guess, what the important thing is. Uh, as you saw, the aluminum that I received was in the best condition, but I think I may have a plan on how I can still utilize all the parts. So let's get busy. Starting from the left, we have the angle brackets. These are 40. 40 angle brackets. Next to that we have the T nuts and then we have the M8 125 12 millimeter bolts. Also I have some um, shallow, more shallow ones that are 8 millimeters. This is for the top. All right, now I'm going to replace this uh, DeWalt blade. It's, I'm tired of seeing it. It just lowers the resale value of my state-of-the-art Ryobi miter box. I'm going to remove this blade and replace it with a 12-inch 96-tooth laminate non-ferrous metal cutting saw blade. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, you want to use these blades because these are specially designed to cut aluminum and laminate. Um, you don't want to use a wood blade or a multi-purpose blade. You will see that the cuts that these produce are far superior on any aluminum than than, or you just use a cutoff wheel. But uh, I've heard so many good things about it. I can't wait to give this a try. These were received in pretty bad shape. All the ends just need to be shaved off. I'm taking the minimal amount off with this saw. As you can see, it is really clean now. That's the way it should be. I want to make sure it's nice and square. So I'm going to go ahead and get my square, <laughs> get it, and I'm going to verify that everything is nice and true.
now that I've verified that the cuts are going to be as perfect as I can get them, I'm going to now shave off the ends of each of these pieces. I just want to make sure that it's nice and clean. Also, between each piece being cut, I take a small brush and I brush off the deck of the miter box. I just don't want any discrepancies between the pieces. I mean, leaving uh, any bit of material left on the deck could cause it to be not flush, of course. You know, just feel free to fast forward from here because it is just a lot of cutting. I'm using two pieces of polycarbonate and they're not exactly cut all that well, but I was able to line them up where um, they're actually square at 27 and a half inches. I made sure that I put arrows for the orientation and also I could use these notched out uh, pieces of extruded aluminum, come down to 24 inches and now that notch is gone. Thank goodness. Just in case if you're wondering, I have been wearing safety glasses this whole time. I really just don't take a chance when it comes to power tools, and neither should you. Uh, this blade is literally throwing shards of metal all over the place, and a lot of them are very sharp and tiny. You don't want to lose an eye just from not taking precautions. Right here I'm adjusting the material stops uh, because it's just going to make it a lot easier to do multiple cuts. And my hand isn't really that close. It's actually about five, six inches away from the blade. You will see that this blade just cuts so well. I'm so happy with how this is turning out. Now I'm going to turn it and face the camera, and you'll see right here, it's just perfect. And if you want to just fast forward here, you're just going to see multiple cuts. took two pieces of scrap and what is going to be the table leg. I placed it against the workbench because I really want all the tables workbenches to be the same height around the garage. By doing this I can get an accurate measurement. 
because I'm also going to be using a platform, so so to speak, where it has wheels on it, and it's about one inch gap. It was determined that with these measurements that each of these pieces for the legs are going to be 29 and a half inches long. Here are some of the pieces from the cuts. Look how small they are. This plate just does wonders for aluminum. I mean, it, <laughs> if I could reuse these, I would. I just think they're, that's pretty cool. I adjusted the material stops to 29 and a half inches and I did verify that it, it was nice and secure. Um, the way I look at it is as long as all the matching sizes then I won't have a wobbly table. Oh, thanks, Bear. That was nice of you to knock stuff over. Yeah, he wants some attention. He is my best bud. He's uh, definitely my workshop dog. Uh, sometimes it gets in the way, but you know what? It's all good. I don't mind. Um, you'll see that I'm just trying to adjust, and then he walks over everything again. <laughs> Goofy dog. Um, I'm just trying to lay things out right now, seeing how I'm going to assemble this. Uh, just, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to use the slide the T slot nuts through the rails and then you're going to fasten it with the screws and the angle brackets. Uh, the biggest problem here is plotting your course because if you fasten it and you need another T nuts to slide in there, you got to take it all apart again. So um, There is a spoiler alert. I did run out of um, T nuts, um, slot nuts, and a uh, I ran pretty low on the screws as well. That made screws. That's because uh, it seemed like they kind of threw in some other sizes in with my order and said, oh, you know what? I'm sure you could use them. But I would suggest that you may just fast forward through this. I will put in more details on how these get fastened together in my next video. And let's uh, listen to some music and get through this as fast as possible.
at this point I have plenty of the angle brackets left but uh, I'm obvious uh, T nuts so I'm yeah I call it quits for tonight and uh, it looks like Bear is ready to go to bed too so it just sucks that I uh, got so close to completing the frame as you see it's just missing the three uh, side supports and can't really do anything without those other parts here are the three remaining pieces along with the polycarbonate top pieces I'll get to it once the other parts arrive here's the mess of the, all the aluminum shavings I mean it is just absolutely everywhere I'm sure even a couple weeks from now I'm going to track something to the house and my wife is going to kill me but that's the way it is, right? You want to get a project done, sometimes you create a mess. Here of all the aluminum scrap pieces. I don't know if I, well, maybe I could find something to make out of it. If Bear's interested. So maybe he wants to use the saw. Right? That's it? Oh, yeah. Handsome boy. Handsome boy. Oh, what a good dog. How about high five? Ah, oh, now give me ten. Give me ten. Good boy. Uh, all right, I'm a little burnt out right now. I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my weekend and relax a little bit. I did order the parts that uh, I needed to hopefully complete this. And um, no one commented if they wanted to see a black or not. That's most likely because there was only like four. Whatever. I think uh, the answer is itself that it needs a coat of paint so and a base I can't just drag it around and I actually have a plan for it it's somewhere over there and yeah nice little mess I gotta clean that up too before I start editing this stuff well I hope you enjoyed this part of the video um, I hope the content's starting to get better as I work with this I appreciate you watching please subscribe share if you want troll if you want I really don't care if you, <laughs> so I'm just hoping that people learn from from what I'm doing maybe learning from my mistakes and saying man that one the guy just is doing it all wrong so all right we'll catch you next time thanks for watching mm -hmm.